guys, you're, you're not going to believe this, but I, I, I have season three of Rick and Morty. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? Well, no. But, but look, wait, hold on. Sorry, I'm going to get my Doritos out of the way. Um, like, like, we have it here, and I'm going to review it for the rest of the world. Dan Harmon tried to contact me, Justin R- R- Roylan try to contact me about this, telling me, hey, uh, Alex, you shouldn't release this, it's not right, but, no, but you know what, I got this, I got this, and I can't, but, but, okay, but we're going to watch this right now, and here it is, I'm gonna pop it in for you guys and the whole world to see my opinions on it first, here, so here it is. Con los terroristas! <laughs> Okay, I see they're going with a new direction in their art style. Um, It also appears that they're um, hmm, they're introducing some new characters. I see. Um, Where's Pickle Rick, though? You know, love the love of Dub Dub. (laughs) Ha ha, Pickle Rick. But, but, um, hmm. Hmm, I like what they did with Morty here. He's, he's very r- different, you know, character development. You know, I, I, go, I go to film school. I, I know this. I mean, I'm, I'm 13. I, I don't know this. What do I know? I don't know. Mom won't let me swear for this one, so, you know, I can't. I can't. <laughs> um, let's see, um, hmm. Oh. Oh no, he didn't. Man, this episode's weird, man. I mean, like they really upped the budget, or I mean, I can't even tell. Did they up the budget, or did they lower the budget? Did they hire? I mean, did they fire the female writers? And eh. um, I can't tell honestly. It's it's kind of hard. Um. <clears throat> okay. Uh. Oh, oh, um, it's it's getting the tape starting to end pretty soon. I see. Um, I'm gonna have to start stop the recording pretty soon. But, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, here's yeah, it's it's over. Okay. So yeah, my thoughts. So you just saw my reaction to season four of Rick and Morty. And um, so yeah, you just saw my live reaction to season four of Rick and Morty. And now, you're going to hear my opinions on it. So, what did I think of it? Um, well, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it so far. The animation's kind of off, and um, the voice actors are different. It looks like they hired more female writers, uh, you know, because they ruined season three. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know. It looks it's weird. I mean, it's very avant-garde. It's very Ang Lee from 2003's Hulk movie with its quick jump cuts, and, um, it's, um, metaphors and symbolism for repressed human emotion and child abuse. I mean, I respect the ambition and intellect that it takes to understand, um, Rick and Morty, but it looks like this season they're really upping it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Stephen Hawking, when he passed away, he got reincarnated into Justin Roiland's head or something. I I don't know, it's, it's kind of bizarre, but... Um, yeah, it's it's very it's a very interesting take, you know. You know, hold, hold on. Oh, God. Uh, uh, mm, but um, but yeah. Um, so that's my reaction and my review of the first episode of season four of Rick and Morty. <laughs> um. So yeah, please like and subscribe if if you would like to, and um. First common gets a free iPhone 7s3 Nokia um, 3G, y- you know, a phone. Um, so yeah, comment below, tell me what you think. And I'll see you next time with my new Let's Play of the new Five Nights at Freddy's game. So, tee see you later. Peace. I'm talking. Fuck having a mess at dinner. I'm here to fuck somebody's wife. <laughs>
talk. 